Hey guys, we have a very, very special vlog. I'm gonna be reunited with someone who I have not seen in three years, especially for you guys who've been watching since the beginning. Did you guys figure out who it is? Bentley! Ah! Before Gatsby, Bentley was a major part of the vlog for over a hundred episodes when I first started vlogging. Right now he is staying with my old roommate Aaron's ex-girlfriend's grandparents' house. Tracked him down. I hear that he watches the vlogs and he reacts to my voice. Do you want to meet him? Do you want to meet Bentley? Okay, we're headed over. See you guys there. I'm so excited to see Bentley. Here he comes, Ryan. Bentley! Oh my god. <laughs> Do you remember? Oh my god! Yeah, yeah! Yeah! Oh my god! Oh my hey. god! <laughs> hey! Oh yeah, he remembers. Oh my remember god! Billy! Oh my god! Billy! Oh my god! 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 Oh Oh Bentley actually taught me a lot about how to train Gatsby. I learned a lot from Bentley. I think that's what it was. <laughs> Corgi is so fantastic. When you guys are snuggling together. Oh yeah. It's so fresh. Yeah, I remember Bentley gives really good cuddles too. So I was trying to train Gatsby to give good cuddles. Corgi. Oh, oh. You guys are good boy. There you go, Gatsby. Yeah. Good shot too. It's cold. I'm so happy. First time I've seen a dog play like this. <laughs> He used to hang out like this. This is how he used to lay down. Woo! Gets me, you're a prince. Yes, you are. I love you. Oh, ah. I fell in love with you. I fell in love with you just looking at you. <laughs> Thank you, Gat Lou. You're the best. Ah. You <laughs> so much. I remember this. What a happy dog. Alright, you're just happy, I can't. So happy. What a happy smile. Thank you. I remember this face. <laughs> Bentley, I made it going. It was nice seeing you again. <laughs> Bye, Bentley. Say bye bye, sweetheart. Bye, oh. Bentley. I am so happy right now. So happy. Oh my gosh, I got to see Bentley. <laughs> I'm so happy. I am so happy, you guys. <sighs> I'm happy. Good morning, Gatsby. Good morning, Aquarium. Good morning, Amiibos. Good morning, Corgi Butt. Good morning, Corgi Face. And good morning, everyone. I'm gonna hit some legs. Got done with my leg workout. Gonna head off and now ride the nine bot. And there we go, nine bot accomplished. That was some really fun nine botting. Now we are going to be making lunch. If you had missed the spam musubi making that I did in my Hawaii vlog, make sure to check that out. I made some really great Hawaii recipes. I'll put a card up here or right up here. If you don't like spam, I thought that would show you an alternative version, which is with hot dogs. So we're gonna make some hot dog musubis. You will need hot dogs, soy sauce, sugar, a musubi making mold. You can usually find these at Asian markets and you will need seaweed. So let's get started. So let's start off by heating up the pan medium heat and let's make the soy sauce seasoning okay this is just to taste so whatever you want I just use some soy sauce and add some sugar Mix around and we have our new tongs here which is perfect for nonstick pans so it doesn't scratch the surface and meanwhile let's get to making the mold ah, stick it in the mold even it out we just take the top and smash it down the rice is all musubi'd out. I'll make an unseasoned one for Gatsby, and I'll season one for myself. Pour the glaze over it. Okay, now we just slice the hot dog lengthwise, like so, and make sure that it gets all the seasoning. There we go. Slide this through. Separate Gatsby's from the rest. Now let's cut some seaweed. 
know for like events in Hawaii, a lot of moms make this all the time. This or of course spam musubi. There we go. Hot dog musubi. It's time for us to try it out. Mmm. Tastes good. I think Gatsby approves. Mm. That food was so good. It reminds me of being back in Hawaii. filmed some footage that I deleted from a previous vlog, so I thought that I would play it for you now. This is the tour of my desk space. Check it out. So right over here we have a standing desk from Ergo Depot and a chair from Ergo Depot. The table rises. This chair is also a standing chair, so it can go all the way up. So we can get everything perfectly ergonomic here. When I'm editing the videos, it, I spend about 12 to 15 hours in front of the computer. And I always end up with tons and tons of back problems, neck problems, and everything. So I finally decided to invest in a fully ergonomic setup. This is my BenQ 4K monitor, which I've connected to my PC. It is also connected to my 5K iMac over here. I am a huge fan of these monitor arms, especially because it ends up saving a lot of space on your desk. You can also spin them around and watch a movie from my couch. I can even move the screen all the way to the center. Your eye level, when you look straight forward, should actually be in the center of the screen. By the way, in order to mount an iMac, you have to order the special VESA mount iMac. You can't just mount any iMac. Mac on it. I got these specific monitor arms from Amazon. As you can see, we have all the cords nicely set up over here with a hook. The desk has a cable management system underneath. I also have an HDMI cord going from this computer all the way to this screen. So if I want to extend my monitor, I can go to the setting. So now I have Mac running on both. For example, I can drag this page here all the way across to this screen, which is really useful when I'm working on two screens at the same time. For my PC, I'm actually running it off of my laptop, which I have set up right over here. I moved all the stuff that used to be on my desk to the side over here, which is filled with Chipotle napkins, my external hard drive, notebooks. I have only one wireless keyboard and only have one mouse. I did not want to have two separate keyboards and two separate mouses and two separate everything for either computer. What I did was I ended up having to get a USB switcher. You can plug things into it. So I have my wireless keyboard and wireless mouse over here. And what it does is it plugs directly into both computers, the Mac and the PC, and you can toggle between each one. I'm using my mouse on this computer. And if I want to switch, just press the button underneath the table and I can control this computer over here. And that is my office setup. Make sure to check out the description below in order to see links to all the products that I have. Let's get on with the day. Hey guys, I'm gonna head off to a hike with Gatsby. It's gonna get dark soon, so we're just gonna go for a little bit. Coming up, coming down. Keep it true, y'all know y'all can cork around. Hold up. We made it. We made it, Gatsby. Got my jacket on. Be sunset soon. Let's go. Not that windy right now. Last time I was here it was super windy. I like hiking because it helps to de-stress a little bit because I've been pretty stressed out these past few weeks. This reminds me of like in Lord of the Rings, the Fellowship of the Ring, when the ring race come. Get off the road! Yes, we look how beautiful. It's like a beautiful real life Pokemon game with the tall grass and everything. See the bay? Right there? San Francisco Bay Area. So if we could get further, I think this trail would go all the way around this way and all the way down. 
but it's getting cold and dark. Let's run back up. <laughs> Want some water? Have the water bowl that we got. I brought a tripod with me on this trip, along with the usual selfie stick. Going uphill is a lot harder. <laughs> Sun is setting. Beautiful. Walking, walking, walking. Sniff, sniff, stop. Walking, walking. And we made it back to our car. Now it's all eyes on us, and it's all eyes on trust. If them Corys want a trip, tell them they tour guides on us. Did you enjoy your hike? Hope you did. Gatsby's food bowl. A can of Ranchlands dog food. That's some Dynavite. Sprinkle that on top. There he goes. And here's mine. Chips. Some more Chipotle napkins. Chicken burrito bowl. And guac. Mmm. Looks good. See you guys afterwards. Alright, everybody. Just finished Chipotle. I'm gonna play some Splatoon. I thought that I would play it because we are celebrating the one year anniversary that just happened. I thought that I would show you guys what the amiibos did. I just unlocked everything on this amiibo. Maybe we can use one of these instead. We got these amiibos from Gage, who watches the vlogs. Here it goes. Three, two, one, go! So let's go to the amiibo box right over here. Okay, so let's add the amiibo onto the gamepad here. Ooh! So the amiibo helps unlock a lot of different things. I don't really use a roller weapon usually, so we'll see. We gotta kill all these guys here. So I can also roll like this if I want. There it goes. Die, die. No, you can just run over everyone. Ha! Ah, die. 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 Grab the key. Ooh. We made it. Let's destroy this. Awesome. Woo! Amiibo! Definitely my favorite game on the Wii U. And Gatsby's keeping me company the whole time while we're playing. My legs are done for the night. I can't even move, Gatsby. It was such a good day. Seeing Bentley again, it just like brought back so many good memories. He was so happy. If you're new to Bentley, you should check out the old vlogs because you would have loved him. The nicest, most well-behaved dog ever. Gatsby's doing his corgi torpedo. Anyway, I'm gonna head to bed and I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Make sure to check out all the awesome Corgi t-shirts that we have. I tried to wear all the different ones that we got. There is a sale going on right now. I put down the code in the description below. I believe it is free international shipping. See you guys in the next vlog. Good night. Good night, Gatsby.